Hey Rockstar! Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Hey Rockstars, Crystal Baller here, and I'm gonna show you how to play the lead guitar part to Chastity Belt's Drone. Um, this song is, it has like really pretty like dancing guitar going on underneath the main rhythm guitar, and um, if you slow it down, it's actually pretty simple, okay? So, the first thing that we do in the like main intro part is just the ninth fret on the little E string, or um, the tenth fret, sorry, on the little E string and the ninth fret on the B string, you play those together, and you bend them just a little bit. So that means like pushing them up towards you. And then you go to the ninth fret on the G string, okay? That's like in that little intro -y part. That's the only time you do that. You let those ring out, and then you go to your main little dancey riff, okay? So you're on your 12th fret of the B string with your ring finger, and your pointer finger goes to the 10th fret on the E string. So you're gonna go back and forth. Now when you do this, make sure that your these strings are so thin. You wanna be really gentle, that you're not like really like strumming them super hard. So something that can help, especially if you're new to guitar, is if you have a really thin pick, then you're not gonna really break your string as easily. Um, but just keep, keep, be mindful of that. Be gentle with your strings. So sensual. Okay. All right, at the end of the second measure, you go one and two and three and four and one and two and three, and you slide your ring finger down to the seventh fret. So that's going down, skipping a dot, going to that dot. So you're gonna strum it, and then go down there with your ring finger, and your pointer finger is gonna end up on the fifth fret. And you do that two measures. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and back to 12. Three and four and one and two and three and four and slide. I'm even strumming it a little too hard sometimes. Be gentle. All right, so we do that a lot. We do that until we get to the... Just let's crawl on the sheet here. So now we're to the bridge. This is a fun one. Okay, so we're gonna put our pinky on the 14th fret. And you're like, oh my God, it's all the way up there. My hand can't even reach. Maybe you don't have a cutaway on your guitar like I do. So if you don't, it's still, you're like right on the edge here, all right? You're gonna go there, let me see. You're gonna hit that one with your ring finger. Then you're gonna do a 12 with your pointer finger. <laughs> then you're gonna take your pinky finger. <laughs> hey. And you're gonna go to the, the 15th fret of the neck of the B string, so. 14, 12, 15, 12 on the B string. Now climb back up. 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 15, 12. Now notice on my picking hand, if I'm changing strings no matter where I'm going, I'm alternating the strumming, okay? So I go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, no matter if I'm crossing strings or not. That's called alternate, alternate picking. Oh my God. Alternate pick, picking. The alternate picking. All right, anyway. Okay, that's that part. 
So we went down a rabbit hole of some country times and the picketing. <laughs> now we're gonna go to the chorus. Is that it? Nope, chorus is the same. Same as it ever was. No, it's not. Okay, the chorus is different. Glad, glad I looked. All right, the chorus is 12-10. We had already done that before, right? Ring finger, pointer finger. Something else to be aware of is don't lift your finger up when you're doing this. Don't go. You hear that extra crap that happens when you don't keep your fingers down? There's like extra string noise to keep it clean. <laughs> Hold them down, but strum correctly. Stay there, one. All right, then, then after that one, you bring your, you can eat, I would just lay my ring finger flat. All right, you do that one measure. So it's two measures on this one and two and three and four and stay there two and three and four switch 12. I would do your pointer finger actually. All right, then 12 and 14. Back to 12 and 10. One, um, this time you're actually only doing that for a measure. Then you're going up. 12, 14. Then you go back to. So again, it goes 12, 10, 12, 12, 12, 14. Then 12, 10, 12, 12, 12, 14. So the first time the 12, 10 has two measures. So technically. All right. Next we have, I think that's it. Yeah, it goes back to the bridge again. Ding, 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 same thing. So it's really just like, there's three parts. There's three main parts. You have the verse where you slide down back and forth. You have a, where the picketing begins. And then actually you should be picking like that the whole time. Anyway, then you have that bridge part um, that we just did that I can't remember right now. Oh my God. Okay. So that's it. The cool thing about playing lead guitar is you don't have like a bajillion things to hold down with your fingers at once. Like if you play the actual rhythm chords on the song, you have to really use all of your fingers and it can get a little painful. Um, if you do this part, uh, you are using all your fingers, but you're only strumming one string at a time. So it's like using different, I would think different parts of your brain to kind of dissect this song. So you could, if you wanted to go, <laughs> and go into the different pieces you know and kind of play with going back and forth while you listen to the song it, it can kind of get fast and so don't let that be discouraging to you just you know play at your pace and and play with a metronome god i recommend it please play with a metronome <laughs>